Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the YouTube account and I'm gonna try going over some of the Grand Hunt team comps that we're actually seeing in here. But before we get into that, guys, I finally got enough red chest, that is right, to take the Awakened version of Belinda up to a plus 30 signature item. So I'm hoping that is gonna have an impact within the Grand Hunt. Don't know if it's going to, but getting a max out to that plus 30 is awesome. Um, still gotta get her ascended, still gotta get her a little bit built as well. All right, guys, so the Temporal Rift Grand Hunt is up. We have a couple days left. And again, I'm going to show you the formation that I went. I got 119 billion damage. I think I might be able to go through a little bit more or get a little bit higher. But ultimately, guys, these are the teams that I ran within here. So looking at the very first team, it is running with Scarlet Grez, the Awakened version of Solus. We have Nevi and we have the Twins in here. Of course, a lot of healing in this back row. We are also running the Dragon as the pet. Um, looking at the badges we have in here, we have the Hatchet, we also do have the Protective Crystal, and then the Rejuvenating, which are the last three. Almost all of your support heroes in here will run that Rejuvenating um, rejuvenating Herb, or Revitalizing Herbs. Um, that is usually what a majority of them will run. And again, we're going to go through a lot of variations to these, um, just showing you kind of the teams that I used that got me the most damage. And again, we'll look over at the leaderboards to see exactly what they're running in here. Now, second team, we have the Awakened version of Belinda. Now, with that being said, guys, even a lesser level of Belinda will do incredibly well. We've seen players that are just running literally one copy at Legendary, still doing incredibly well damage-wise within this formation. We have um, Rosaline right down there. We have Palmer, we have Rowan, and then we have Rain. Now, looking at... Um, the badges that we're using in here, double hatchet, of course, to amplify the damage. And again, I got a couple screenshots, a lot of different formations over here, revitalizing crystals on our support, or excuse me, the, the herbs on the support. And then we have the crystal, actually this protective crystal on rain. Rain is going to amplify the damage that we're going to do on Rigby. And I'm running the owl in here. Now my pets at this point are only level six guys, but we're using the best that we can get in here. Final comp is going to be kind of a different one guys this is running with as you can see we do have um the teddy bear in here so this is damon with halos now i tried this variation of the formation running the awakened version of thane um or excuse me taylene didn't really work guys they were actually running peanut in this formation so i'm going to drop peanut back in this formation i'm um, changing up the formation a little bit and peanut is going to be running the hatchet we are going to want peanut to do a lot of damage in this one so there we go, guys. So we have a hatchet, hatchet on Damon. And again, the, the best in slot is actually on Tondra, which I have built. Doesn't seem like I'm pulling as much damage with on Tondra than I am with the current build that we have right here. So looking at the lineup right here, we have hatchet, hatchet between Peanut and um, Damon. We have the revitalizing herbs, which is on Silas. We have the bullet or the ammo. I forget exactly what it, the piercing ammo that is on Hodgkin, and then we do have the crystal that is run on Halos, guys. And again, if you don't have these heroes, there are a couple substitutions in here um, based on support, based on rejuvenation, based on different team comps. Um, these are, again, the three teams that I found did the most damage for me. I'm going to go through, I'm going to auto battle this one single time, skip the animation. I want to show you where the beacons are for this specific a formation. All right, there we go. So 119 still is the top. I pulled what 103 on this one. RNG factor in there as well. Now the beacons for this formation within the Grand Hunt, support, mage, tank. Those are the three we're running, guys. Now originally we were not running the mage's might, um, but, but overall it seems like that has been the strongest formation in here if you're not a whale. Whale formations are a little bit different, but again, I tried out all of the larger, the whale formations. We got them all set. This formation gave me a lot higher. I also did Alliance, Badge Addiction, and Energy Transfer. Having those unlocked, guys, even Energy Transfer makes a really big difference because you are actually getting an incredible amount of energy back from these heroes. So those are the beacons that we use, guys, on the Grand Hunt with that specific formation. Again, we scored right there 119 billion damage. So even looking 51 billion right here, 58 billion again, look at a fully maxed, even with over the nine of nine furniture, um, the, the fully maxed here with Scarlet was 51, 58 billion from just this Mythic Plus, um, which of course didn't even have the plus 30 signature item at that point, but did 58. 
And then this team, 4 billion, I think this team is doing kind of bad. I, I think this is really the, the ultimately the, the team that I need to work on. Um, doesn't seem like the Damon one, again, is doing a lot of a lot of damage, but it has a big RNG factor. And again, this is what some players are using. Now, another variation of this is, of course, with Entendre guys, which I'm going to swap out some of these heroes, but this ultimately changes the formations. And this is where it gets a little bit dicey, guys, is when you look, so the best in slot that we're seeing a lot of players run is running with Entendre in here and running with Grez, which again, if you look on Tondra Grez, this is changing up all of the formations because this one actually uses, and we can actually just go in here, grab one of these top formations, um, include the badges in there, and there we go. So this is the formation. Now the variations for this, guys, is of course the very first one is Taylene. You can also see, guys, that we are running the level six moth in here, but this one plays off of the ability of Orthos to alt, which means Orthos does have to have a plus 30 signature item with the um, three of nine furniture to get this to really work. And then of course, the other caveat to this guys is Taylene has to be the strongest hero in, the, in this formation. And again, this is looking at the best in slot formations that we're seeing within these comps. So we have Silas up here as a buffer. We have Halos as a buffer. So essentially what this is going to do guys is Taylene is going to alt um, when Taylene does, or when Orthos alts, Taylene is still gonna move. Now, Taylene's damage comes from the HP and coming from the shielding effect that she produces. Overall, guys, as a support hero, it is not about the attack rating that she has. It is about the HP that she has in relationship, which is the reason why we built her out a little bit higher. This formation, it again, I didn't score as high with this formation, but when we did the original one, we didn't have the moth. So I'm wondering if the moth is going to make a big, big difference in here. This one, the awakened version of Belinda, of course, being followed by um, Rosaline in there. Soros joins and also Vithiel. Since we have Vithiel built, now again, the owl within this one, guys, would make a huge, huge difference with a couple extra seconds if I had him built up higher. Again, that is some of the reason why these boss formations are not working incredibly well, because if you're missing some of the levels on the pets, it's gonna be a little bit more of a struggle. Now looking in here, guys, I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna run the hatchet in here, and this is usually what we're running in here, and then I believe these three are running with the revitalizing herbs, just like we've seen before, guys. Now looking again at the formations, um, and looking at the lineup with the heroes, we're running the winged lion in here, but when you look, again, fundamentally at the heroes, Number one, the Awakened version of Solus. You should absolutely have, guys. She is one of the biggest priority for the Awakened heroes within AFK Arena. Palmer, absolutely another one. Really big to build out, as well as the Twins. So support in here, definitely building out. Now, Entendra is one, again, that is a little bit more questionable on the build, which is why we showed a couple different formations. Um, and Grez, of course, you should absolutely have built. Now, Soros is a little bit older. Vithiel, if you don't have Vithiel, guys, you can actually pop like an Estrelda in here. Um, that will work well with the buffing aspect that we're getting from Vithiel. Then, of course, the amplification. Three of nine furniture on rain, plus 20 signature item, absolutely. Soros, you want the plus, plus 30 signature item so he can actually heal this entire team in the back. And then looking at this one again, this is a very unique comp, and we do see this one within the Cursed Realm a significant amount of time, but there are, again, a couple different ones that we've run, even running the Scarlet Formation in here um, to really change this up. Again, this one, guys, you have to have Orthos, you have to have Taylene. That is an absolute requirement. Um, also, in addition with this, guys, is the, the higher that you build them out, the better they're gonna perform. Now, in this formation, again, the beacons do change in this one. Um, this is one where even though the only one that we have in here, which is the mage spec, is the awakened version of Belinda. So building this out, guys, actually dropping out the mage tree um, and putting in the warrior tree is what a lot of players have been running in here, is switching up the formation again, um, changing up the beacons quite a bit to build out the warrior tree, drop out the mage tree. So this formation we know is going to be kind of set. I'm gonna do one battle in here. I know I really shouldn't because again, or you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna bother. I'm gonna go back, we're gonna reset these beacons. And again, I'm gonna keep the Grand Hunt beacons as we have them right here. So just literally one 
in the Fearsome Alliance because we still do have Entendre and we also do have that Awakened version of um, Belinda in there. Badge Addiction, Energy Transfer, we're gonna keep. So I'm gonna reset these three. And again, what we're doing with this one is we are dropping out the, ma the Mage Tree. So we're dropping out the Mage Tree and we're gonna drop out the Mage, we're gonna add in the Warrior, and this is the build that we're gonna go. I wish I could just auto build this, guys. It does take a little bit, but again, I built up on Tandra. She is at a plus 67 engraving right now, built her up a little bit higher. I do have to build up Taylene a little bit higher, the original version of Taylene, um, again, to focus on the HP and the haste aspect that she brings to really maximize the utilization of her in here and also ensuring that she is going to be much stronger um, than the rest of the, the teams or the rest of the heroes that we are putting in formations. As we continue seeing the power creep within this game, guys, the Awakened version of Taylene actually continues to drop by, or, or the original version of Taylene. The original version of Taylene, guys, I'm running a plus 37 signature item on there, which again is kind of the side effect of getting the heroes to perform better. Um, and I'll show you exactly what I'm run, what, what I'm kind of talking about. So the original version of Taylene, I've added stars on there. We have a plus 37 signature item. Still have the plus 60 engraving, but what I've been doing is raising up this combat rating to keep her as the strongest. I have to keep her above Halos, have to keep her above a couple different heroes, ensuring that she is the strongest, which is the reason why we've added a couple stars on there. You can also go in once you get past this plus 60 engraving, guys, building out haste a little bit further, and then building out the HP. Like I said earlier with the shield, it is the hit points for Taylene that allows her to really amp up her damage, which again, it makes a big, big difference on the build. So the tree is set for the Temporal Rift, guys. So let's go ahead, I wanna try this. And another thing in here, guys, that we've kind of talked about before is the RNG aspect. So you have the ability to lower and remove a ton of the RNG aspect from these fights if you're doing more and more battles. This one, I think, you know what, I'm gonna try it with the hatchet, but I'm gonna try Grez with the, the recharge crystal. Um, the rest of these, I, I'm gonna go in with herbs. And I'm hoping again, because support, support, support. I'm gonna try this one. So we know we have four abilities in here. Let me make sure everyone else is all set. One, two, three, there we go. So I'm gonna auto battle, we have four attempts. I'm gonna do two, and then I'm gonna swap Grez to the hatchet and see exactly where we come out with both of these guys. See if we can score a little bit higher. See, still 119 there. And this was the best in slot team um, that players are running, but I cannot get it to do more damage than the other comp that I showed you guys first, even there. Let's see what we got for those two runs. 99, 93. Like I said, the, the first comp that I ran, um, I, I can't get the damage out. I feel like that third team with Damon guys, and let me know in the comments, um, a better team to run for the third team, but I know running Scarlet in here, running the Awakened version of Belinda in here, even I feel like the first team in here that I'm not pulling as much damage as I need to be out of this first team. And I feel like the big reason for that guys is I don't have the pets high enough. I, I feel like I need to gain a couple more levels on the pets to really amplify the damage that we're seeing here. And again, 119 is going to be where we're at. Final one right here. Boom, still keeps us at 119. Like I said, I, I haven't had the ability to really break 9700. See, even down here, guys, this is where I used the bigger formations. Again, those two teams are good. Third team, guys, I'm gonna have to look at. I'm gonna have to figure out something with this. But again, a lot of different runs, a lot of different attempts in here, a lot of different data from a ton of different uh, players. Big thing, of course, being the beacons. If you have higher level beacons, it's gonna make a tremendous difference within here, guys. So all right, so that'll do it for today's um, video. Again, big thing, guys, when you hop in here, check the available formations, see what they have, see the build out, see what teams you can use in here with the utilization of the heroes. So again, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, Thank you guys for watching.